What's up y'all, Pickstick Steve here. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to run the ball effectively in Mad24. So let's get into the video. So we all had a habit of holding down the sprint button at some point when we were playing against our opponent in Madden. But you don't wanna do that. And there's a couple of reasons why. The first is that you don't want to get your running back fatigued because if he's tired, he will not break any tackles or fight for extra yards. Another reason is the all line will hold on to the blocks longer. So when I'm running the ball, I'm looking at the second and third defenders because I need to know if I need to change the run play to the left or right, or if I can get the second or third defenders to run into the offensive lineman, knowing the spawn point of the second and third defensive player is key to running the ball effectively. Understanding leverage in Madden is so important, especially with the offensive lineman. What do I mean by that? is understanding how long does it take for a lineman to block or blocking one defensive lineman with two linemen or knowing the next move the offensive lineman is going to take or it can be calling a run play that gives you leverage to wrap it up here the key is to leverage your blockers running the ball can be very effective if you can have certain run plays that can stop certain defensive plays. Like for example, if you call a goal line run play and your opponent calls a coverage out of the dime, you're most likely going to have a great chance of getting a lot of yards. So knowing your opponent's formations can really help you run the ball effectively. Using check downs or even screen passes is a good way to gain a lot of yards. The reason why, because you can fake like you're passing the ball deep, but you're really giving the ball most of the time to the running back or the wide receiver, and it can be used like a run play. So to wrap up the video, tip number one, know when to use the sprint button. Tip number two, read the second and third defenders. Tip number three, understand leverage your offensive line has. Tip number four, scheme runs that stop certain defensive plays. And tip number five, you want to use your screen passes and your um, check downs as um, run plays. Consider those as run plays. 